I'm Emilio Pasmino, and today is our first day here on Ecuador. And look what we already found. Now I know what you're thinking, is that the same boa from last time? Well, no, I was hoping we'd find the same one so that I can get the ticks off again. But this time what we found is actually a male. And to prove that it's a male and it's not a female like last time, I'm gonna have to catch it again. You guys remember the technique? Remember? Walk behind it, and I know this is a golf stick. This isn't actually my snake hook, just I didn't find it in the moment. Walk behind it, and pin down the head. Once you have it secure, it's raining right now. Once you have the head secure, you've got your snake. Now we're not gonna put it in a bag, we're gonna let it go soon. But I wanted to prove that it's not the same one by showing you here. You can see it's cloaca. Oh, that's wrapping around me, that's what constrictors do. And if you look very carefully right here, hang on. You can see the little claws called spurs. You can see that's a claw right there. And there's the other one right there, that little dark thing. Those are the spurs. Also, this one isn't as long. You guys remember how the other one, when I grabbed it, it would reach up to my head. This one reaches only about to my chest. It's a slightly smaller, slightly smaller male. The other one was a female. Nevertheless, this snake is suffering from the same problem as the other one. Look at its tail right here. You can see that it has many ticks on it. So we're going to do the same thing. We're going to go take all the ticks off of it. And let's get out of this rain for now. We're going to have to work fast before we lose light. But we're going to try to get as many ticks off this poor snake as possible. To do that, I first have to uncoil it. Because you guys know that these snakes are constrictors, so what they do is that they wrap around their prey and squeeze it very hard. So its instinct is to wrap around my arm. So I'm going to have to uncoil it very gently. Now we're going to stretch it out and pass it to my other hand. Oh, oh, oh. Give it a chance to bite. Look at that. This one's also really pretty. I like the Longi Cauda subspecies that we have right here. They have a very nice pattern, and it appears this one just shed two. Too bad it's not sunny, because I can't show you how bright they would glow in the sun. We have to work against night if we want to let this snake go quick. I don't want to, have to keep, I don't want to keep it too long like the other one. There you go. See? These are what the ticks look like. But now we're going to have to use tweezers, because there's a lot more. So we've removed about 20 ticks off this snake. I was only able to get the biggest ones because we don't have much time today. You can see there's some very large ones. And there might be some minor ones here and there. But I think we got the root of the problem out of here. The plan is that we're going to release the boa in the same area we released the female last year. Who I've been told has been sighted in recent weeks. Hopefully. These two will find each other. And next time I'm in Ecuador, we're gonna get to see some baby boas. Goodbye, buddy. Bueno, muchachos. Till next time.